I learned Don had cystic fibrosis when we were, we weren't dating yet, but we were dancing around dating. Do you want to date someone you work with? That kind of thing. And we had gone to a baseball game and that day he had had a doctor's appointment. And one of the other people that was with us at the game said, oh, nothing serious, I hope. And he said, well, kind of, I have cystic fibrosis. And I did know what it was. In my mind, I didn't think people lived that long with it. So I did go home and do some research. But by that point, it didn't really matter because I knew I loved him and was probably going to end up with him. So this is Don Gochi, my husband, when he was three years old. And this was about the time that he was diagnosed with CF and told that he would live to be 12 years old. And this is Don last year at the CF Cycle for Life, competing post-transplant and giving the kickoff speech just before we took off for the ride. Don and I have been married for 26 years. Don is like a very calm person, very takes everything in stride. Even when he was on the lung transplant list, he worked on Friday and got lungs on a Sunday. I started volunteering for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation pretty early on in our relationship. We decided that we were going to do some events. There was a stair climb in our town and we thought that was pretty cool. And I don't think there was anybody with CF doing the stair climb in the early 90s that was his age. And then we latched on to Cycle, that's the event that we, we've been doing. And he did it at first, he did the 32 mile, and then when he couldn't do that anymore, he did the 12. And then when he couldn't do that anymore, he got an electric assist bike and did it that way. And then when he couldn't do that anymore, his company donated tags so that they could keep track of the riders. And then he got the lung transplant and he's back doing it again. For the beginning of our marriage, I didn't know anyone who had this disease other than Don, and I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what other people were going through. Knowing that there's people behind us to help us, and it's really great to have something with force behind it. We're still in this, even though he's had the transplant and the drugs that are coming out now, most likely that are targeting the lungs, won't impact him, won't be of help to him. But Don and I both feel very strongly that we don't want anybody else to have to go through this. Going through a transplant was really hard. I mean, he can breathe and that's great, but it still causes other problems down the line and we don't want anybody else to have to do that. So we really want parents to be able to get diagnosed, they get their kid diagnosed and they just say, yeah, he just takes a pill, it's just a chronic disease and he'll be fine.